Hello my dear families, it's great to have this opportunity to talk to you and connect with you through these times. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about mindset and the importance of choosing the thoughts and the words and the images that we entertain in our minds when it comes to a lot of the uncertainty and potential stress that we've got around us at the moment. I've been quite concerned about my families um, getting a bit caught up in that and of course with great reason when you're not sure how things are going to be. But I just want to remind you of the powerful tools that you've been learning to prepare you for birth and how they can work beautifully during these times. Our mind responds to the words and images that we give it and choosing the words and images that are constructive is going to be a lot more helpful than getting caught up in the um, words and images that could be destructive. So for example, when you're preparing for birth, we're learning to see the elements of the birth process, the potential pain, the um, potential complexity that can come into birth and recognizing that regardless of what happens, that there's benefit to the process, it's worth stepping into with love, with courage, with calmness, and the ability to really work with labor, not against it. And the same rules really apply for this particular time in that we're going through. There is a lot of uncertainty, you're walking into the mystery, but you've got the tools, you've got the questions, the ability to engage with your carers, the ability to ask the right questions that you need to find the answers and work with your carers to get the best possible outcome. And even though there can be a certain amount of anxiety around you know, going to a hospital at this particular time, everybody in there wants the same thing that you want. And so working together to keep you all safe and engage with the process is once again the key to doing this. So I'd encourage you to identify any fears like we did in the classes any fears, concerns, doubts, worries that are playing on your mind, looking at some of the fears that you can let go of when you get good information and that might require you asking information from your carers about how this would be handled in the hospital or working out some fears, concerns, doubts, worries that you've kind of got to learn to live with and then being able to reorientate and reframe the concerns that you have in a way where you can find the comfort in the discomfort. Remember, you choose the meaning that you attach to things, and so choose wisely. Sending you all lots and lots of love at this time, and um, know that I'm always here for you, and we're going to continue to support you. There'll be more contact um, with me over the weeks ahead, and we're um, bringing in some beautiful things to help you remain calm and peaceful. Lots of love.